guys, so uh, this is going to be my first Halloween tutorial. Um, not going to lie, there were a little bit of flips and hiccups making this, but, um, you know, these things happen. The Lord tests us some days. Anyways, so if you want to figure out how to get this schmancy, kind of cobwebby, vampire-y Halloween look, just keep on watching and I'll show you how. Alright, so starting off, I'm going to be doing my brows. I'm going to be using my Mikasa angled brush. I almost said angled shader brush. That's not right. Anyways, and I'm going to be using Sugar Pill Bulletproof. And then following Sugar Pill Bulletproof, I'm going to be going in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. We're going to have some pretty bold brows today. I kind of decided that. Just feathering that tattoo liner right through the front of the brow. And then with the residue left on my angled brush, I'm just going to blend in that tattoo liner with a bulletproof eyeshadow. This is what you should get. Okay, so official step one of the eye look, we are going to be applying the Kat Von D Locket Concealer Creme in the shade L1. Use whatever kind of pale color you like. And I'm just going to be taking my finger and just blending that over the eye area. This is going to be going from the lid all the way up to the brow bone. Just going to do the same thing on the other side. And then, speed blend! Do you wish you could speed blend? I definitely do. Cool. So, next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking Sugar Pill Taco Eyeshadow on my Real Techniques brush. And I'm just going to be going all the way from the lid to the brow bone. This is going to set the concealer. And then following that step, the step is totally optional. I took a Heart Shaped Cookie by Sugar Pill and I just buffed it in as a transition shade. Again, totally optional. Kind of hard to see on camera too. Okie dokie, time for some color! So I'm going to be taking Love Plus by Sugar Pill on the tried and true Old Faithful MAC 217 brush. You can see how old mine is, it's not really looking so good anymore. Anywho, I'm just taking that and I'm running that through the crease. Blend, blend, blend till your arms fall off. Don't worry if you get this on your eyelid. It's really not that big of a deal. We're going to be going in and mapping out some lines for our kind of cut winged liner crease anyways in a moment, so don't worry too much about it. You just really want to focus on getting that top gradient nice and blended. Do the same thing on the other eye. Again, I'm just going in and just intensifying it. Because we're blending a lot, the uh, pigmentation can sometimes get lost when we're trying to create a gradient. So don't worry, you have to go back in and out a couple of times just to make sure the opacity is there. Dance into the music. Okay, so I did some practice strokes with my eyeliner just to map out where my lid ends and my crease starts. And I just did kind of like a winged liner. And then I'm going to go in with my, this is a MAC pencil brush, and I'm using the color Bulletproof from Sugar Pill, and I'm just going right where I put those practice strokes. Practice lines, guidelines, whatever you want to call them. This honestly just makes your life so much easier, because then you don't have to constantly guess. It saves a little bit of time, too. So I'm just going to soften that edge a little bit as well, with that same brush. The other side is magically done, of course. And just, again, go in. Just make sure that it's the shape that you like. And then go back in with your 217 with that little bit of Love Plus back on the brush. And just soften out the edges. Sometimes the red gets a little bit lost when you're blending darker colors, but it's cool. Alright, so now for the fun and messy part. I'm going to take Soot and Stars by Sugar Pill. Damn, I love this shadow. And I'm literally just going to go right over top of where I put my Bulletproof. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So right at that very top line where you applied your Bulletproof and Soot and Stars, you're going to create a half cut crease with your Kat Von D Tattoo Liquid Liner. Okay, well, whatever liner you have, you're, you're going to do that. And just start slowly. This takes a lot of practice. It's okay if the line is jagged. Just gradually make small, thin strokes, and that's going to help you create a nice, precise line. Okay, so I magically did the other eye off camera because that would have taken a long time. Anyways, I'm just pressing that soot and stars back over the top of where I put that tattoo liner just to create some uniformity and make sure everything's nicely blended. See that fallout? 
Bye bye. This is why we do eyes first, my friends. I'm gonna be going in with this really cute, this is like a little little lemon. It's actually called the Lemon Drop Sponge by Mikasa Beauty. And I'm gonna be applying my Kat Von D Tattoo Foundation in the shade Light 42. Funny enough, this is actually my winter shade, but I'm still a little bit dark from the leftover of summer. Going back in with that Kat Von D Locket Concealer Creme. And again with that little Mikasa Beauty Sponge. Just buffing everything in. Oh, by the way, I'm sure this is a no-brainer, but I dampen the sponge beforehand because you guys all know that, obviously. Everybody does it with a beauty blender. Oh yeah, hyperspeed. Okay, so this is kind of where everything stopped recording. Uh, <laughs> my camera kind of decided to, you know, not do its job for the next two minutes, and uh, all of my little strokes that I did for my spider webs got lost in the world of nowhere. Got lost in the upside down. Anyways, I'm just taking my Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liner, and really, guys, there's no technique to this. Just go in and draw your little webby attachy sideways thingies. I don't really know what they're called. But this section of the look is really just not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to just kind of be like a little bit more abstract and a little less glamorous. This is where the Halloween fun starts to happen. Anyways, just go on in, connect those lines. No rhyme or reason. And then we're gonna connect our kind of like long super extended wing down to I guess like a lower lid wing? I don't really know. I'm not feeling very technical today apparently. Anywho, just thicken the lines, make sure they're even on both sides. I'll just zoom through this because it's just me being OCD. Beautiful. Well, I thought my under eye was a little bit bare as well, so the next thing I did was I just did two, two little kind of random lines. You don't have to do that, but, you know. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is just applying dots. I kind of thought it would be nice to fill in a little bit of the negative space. So now I'm just taking a Real Techniques accent brush and a little bit of that Love Plus eyeshadow and just blending it down into that tear duct. And then I'm taking Sugar Pill Loose eyeshadow in the color Tiara, which is like the most beautiful sparkly silver. And I'm just using this dry. I'm not wetting my brush for this because, I mean, you can if you want to, but it's totally not mandatory. I thought it was foiled and sparkly enough on its own. But again, use your own discretion for this step. If you want to wet your eyeshadow brush, you wet your eyeshadow brush, girl. You do you. So I also popped a little bit on my lipstick as well. It was just out of focus, so I didn't include it. And now I'm going to be contouring and making it look like I actually have cheekbones. So I'm going to be using the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette with my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. And then with a Makeup Forever Blending Brush from the Artist Series, I'm going to be taking that highlight, the kind of frosty shimmery one from that same NYX palette, and I'm just going to be running that over the top of my cheekbones. Don't worry if you go over top of the black eyeliner, it's really not that big of a deal. It just looks worse on camera. Whoa, hello. It just looks worse on camera. And the final step, you're going to add your wig, and I added some falsies off camera, and this is the finished look. <laughs>